welcome to the introduction of the three projects for the 30th anniversary of Expo 88. I hope you enjoy this. I'm being the totem here at Anzac Park. The second one being the relocation of the chair, which we'll see uh, in a little while. Uh, and then immediately after this YouTube, you'll see the gift and contribution of an original part of Morning Star. It actually now has been completed by John Barlow this Hudson. This is the drop that John Barlow Hudson has donated to the Brisbane Museum, which is now sitting on its base. Uh, and it's been engraved, which you can't see, and you can't see the base either. Um, it's not yet time to reveal what's been said on either. So we come over to Tawong, to Anzac Park. And the playground at Anzac Park used to have the largest collection of art buster statues that the Brisbane City Council owned. Unfortunately, they're now all lost. And the greenery that you can see is just the tip of the iceberg of the Expo 88 Rainforest Park. It really just goes for miles, as you can see. And there's the official sign of the Expo 88 Rainforest Park that we'll walk down to in a minute. And I'm really just giving everyone a little bit of a perspective of where it sits. Directly opposite now is the Mount Kutha Gardens and there's the walk bridge that you can see that comes over. And that walk bridge goes all the way now, the pathway goes all the way uh, up to the top of Mount Kutha. If you walk through the Brisbane Botanical Gardens and uh, continue and follow the path. So here's the plaque to Jack Scully which forms part and parcel of the Rainforest Grove. So as part of the 30th anniversary celebration, what I'm hoping is that I can convince an Expo 88 artist to actually build and prepare a three meter high totem uh, to go in this particular location so that a sign and plaque can go down on the pathway that we'll walk down to in a little minute uh, and the totem up here, painted bright red, will draw attention to the rainforest grove that uh, has been planted and was part of Expo 88 and is probably the only last remaining part of Expo 88 that's never moved and has never changed in all the years since Expo 88. So here we are, down on now one of the major pieces of cycle infrastructure and as you can see as I pan around, um, it really is uh, quite a substantial piece of infrastructure. And the Expo 88 rain gro Rainforest Grove sign is to be seen just in the distance. So a three metre totem up there, painted bright red, will draw everyone's attention to it with plaques and signage, celebrating the 30th anniversary down here on the walkway and the overpass. You can see in the distance the Botanical Garden Hothouse and a cyclist. It is a busy bikeway and now what we're looking at is the recently opened extended part of the Brisbane Botanical Gardens. So now we're over at the Botanical Gardens with the beautiful Sir Thomas Brisbane Planetarium and all systems go in relation to the visitor centre currently under construction. So here we are now over at the hothouse that you saw from across the road and that is just opposite the fern house. And in the fern house is to be found the chair by Kenneth Armitage. A beautiful piece, one that has a really interesting providence. Uh, there is a series of these, the others are of what you would call miniature statue and the origin of the chair um, started in Keith Armitage's kitchen and it was really a tribute to his home and his house environment. It's just a beautiful piece and it is just a shame that it's here and it should be in City Hall and let's hope that this YouTube adds to the momentum of its relocation so here we are over at the Japanese Gardens and the logic of the three uh, little projects is that a better upplaying of the Expo 88 rainforest 
is a really nice mix and match to the Japanese gardens here. A solid bit of Australiana uh, with the theme Japanese gardens. Then the relocation of here into City Hall means that the Expo 88 art tours um, can go into City Hall which means then that there can be cross promotion of the City Hall tours itself, the art tours in the CBD uh, and then the 30th anniversary gift the 30th anniversary gift then is a good companion piece to the 25th anniversary piece by Gary Johns um, symbolising the Roma Street to City Botanical Gardens access because Morningstar uh, is sitting in the City Botanical Gardens just in front of Parliament House so there is a logic to these three little projects hopefully not overly expensive but quite effective in their outcome and that's all for this YouTube uh, from Foundation Expo 88 YouTube channel as we move towards the 30th anniversary. Hope you enjoyed it.